I love Squarespace pretty much more than anyone in the world. But some of the design choices that they have made, I just, I don't like. One of which is in the navigation bar up top, your active page is shown with an underline. I don't really like underlines. I tend to get rid of them on hyperlinks. I tend to get rid of them on the read more links on the blog sections. I just, I just don't like them. So one thing that I would like to be able to do on Squarespace is instead of having an underline, I'd have the active navigation item bold. Luckily, there's code out there that helps us do it and it's super easy, but I'm just having a moan that it's not native. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to pop the code in and how to turn your active navigation item bold. What you're looking at here is my own personal blog. So this is the manblueprint.com. If anyone wants to go and read what I've got to say, then head on over. So what you'll see here is when we navigate to blog, for instance, there is no underline under the active item. Whereas on the code examples website that I usually use, we've got home, which has an underline. You'll also notice it's bold compared to no bold here. And I think it's quite obvious that this just looks so much cleaner, so much sleeker than the way it is here. And this is just a simple little bit of code. So again, just one final look at my beautiful face and this beautiful bit of code. Now, I'll show you the exact code that you need. So I've actually got it loaded up. All I need to do is just unleash it now. So there we go. You can see that even in the folder, the folder then becomes bold, but only the correct folder item becomes bold. Some codes make everything in that folder bold. And I'm gonna to explain to you how this works now. So basically, what we're saying here with this, with this greater than symbol is that, or is it the less than, I don't know, whatever way it is, is uh, what we're saying is that A, which is a link, is a direct descendant of what is on the left, which is the active navigation. Then with the comma, we're saying, okay, that's one thing. Now we're targeting a second thing, which is our folder content itself. So the more things we list, the further we're nested in terms of this here lives within this, and then this lives within this. So think of this as your surface level and then we get deeper with each thing that we target. So what we end up targeting is head and nav folder item content, which is essentially the items within our folder. And that's what allows us to target single items in your folder and not have everything go bold when we select it. Now, if you don't have folders, this is fine. You don't, need, you don't really have to use this. So let's say we were to take this out. You can see it wouldn't target that, but it would still stay across the links in the main nav. But a lot of people do use folders, so you may as well just copy the whole thing. Anyway, so once we've opened our brackets, within there, we're putting font weight 600. And that essentially just means make it bold. Some fonts allow us to do different levels, but whatever font that I've got used here, only allows for two levels, either normal or bold. So it doesn't really matter what font weight you use, I'm just gonna go with 600, because before that with 500, it stays normal. But depending on what font you've got, you can experiment. Then background image, non-important. This just gets rid of the underline. So if I was to get rid of this, the underline stays, which we don't want because I think that looks messy. Although that is personal preference. So if you wanna keep it in, then keep that little bit out, but I'm gonna keep it in. And that is that, a nice, well, I would say simple code, but this targeting actually isn't that simple. Regardless, it will be in a blog post linked in the description. If you did find this useful, then please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the other resources in the description too.